This lesson was requested by Haseeb Haseeb, one of the subscribers. It's on Maya's Quadra, which is used to retopologize models. So we'll start off with this model here. Let's say if we wanted to create a clean topology for this model, the first thing we do is you can show the wireframe by clicking on that icon in the viewport so that we can take a look at what the edge flow is for this model. The next thing I'm going to do with this body selected is I'm going to click on this magnet icon here which is to make the surface live. So now this character's body is live. So whatever high-rise model you want to retopologize, you'll want to select it and then click on that make it live button and then go to the modeling toolkit and click on quad draw. So quad draw uh, will allow me to place these points so I'm just clicking with the left mouse button to place these points down and as you can see they're being drawn on this live surface so they're being drawn right on the surface of this model. So that way it maintains the same shape so now that I've laid in a few points, I'll just click and drag with the shift selected between these vertices and it'll actually create polygons or faces for that. I can press control and click vertically or horizontally and that allows me to create more subdivisions very quickly and easily and I can press down with the left mouse button and drag the position of the points if I want to tweak them after creating these faces. And because it's on a live surface, all of the points remain on the surface, which is really great. So this is a really quick and easy way to manually create a clean topology for a model that you've created. Just create a few more points here. So here you'll notice that I didn't create the right number of points. And so uh, then it's having a hard time uh, creating quads. So this is just to show you, you know, if you run into this problem, you'll probably want to back up a little bit, maybe delete some of those points or add points so that you can get a clean topology. Alright, so because it doesn't have the right number of points, what I'll do is I'll just drag some of these points over and quickly just create the extra points that I need so that they match. And there you go. It's easy enough. And again, you can move those points after the fact. If you press shift and the left mouse button at the same time on top of the vertices you've made, you can also kind of use like a smooth brush. And so here I'm just pressing control and adding some more edge loops. So I'm not going to go over kind of doing the entire model, but I hope that this quick lesson gives you a clear idea of how to use Quadra. And thank you again to subscriber Haseeb Haseeb for requesting this lesson. I actually hadn't used this tool before, so it was a good excuse for me to try it out too. So if you like this lesson and you're interested in checking out more, please subscribe and feel free to leave questions and comments below. Thank you.